For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Friday, June 24th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. The Vermont Department of Health says COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations continue to decline and are considered low. Levels are at their lowest since a surge in cases that began last August. Deaths attributed to COVID-19 stand at a total of 682. There have been 10 deaths in June attributed to COVID, this after 32 deaths reported in May. All state COVID testing sites will close tomorrow. PCR and take-home tests will be available until then and also through doctor's offices, pharmacies, and via mail from the federal government. Today is the first day for early voting in advance of Vermont's August primary. Redistricting has meant renumbering of Brattleboro's three voting districts. Most residents will continue to vote in the same district as previously, just with a new name. Some voters have been moved to a new district based on the new district lines. Those voters will receive a notice in the mail alerting them to their new voting district. If you are voting absentee, you will notice a new district number on your ballot. If you opt to vote at the polls on election day, poll workers will be there to greet you and direct you to your district. Senator Patrick Leahy is calling a U.S. Supreme Court decision easing limits on concealed carry permits a sad day for America. According to Leahy, on the day the United States Senate is poised to act for the first time in decades on gun safety legislation, the Supreme Court has created greater uncertainty for states as they try to address the dangers of gun violence. Senator Leahy says common sense safeguards can be enacted to provide for the safety of our children and our communities while respecting the constitutional right enshrined in the Second Amendment. Only limited activity this week and next week at the Rock River Arch Bridge replacement site in Newfane. Precast arch pieces of the new bridge were set with grouting and concrete and the closure needs to set and reach strength. Traffic is being detoured around the bridge work as detours are in place via Route 30, Grimes Hill Road, and Dover Road. WTSA Sports, the good times continue to roll for the Yankees and for Aaron Judge. An Aaron Judge single allowed the Yankees a walk-off win on their way to their 15th straight home win in the Bronx. They beat Houston last night 7-6. The teams play again this evening. Luis Severino on the bump for New York. First pitch is at 7.05. The Red Sox had Thursday off. They begin a series in Cleveland tonight with Nick Pavetta on the mound for Boston. First pitch against a pretty good Cleveland Guardians team this evening is at 7:10. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Friday, June 24th. Have a safe and tremendous weekend, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.